In this lecture, we are going to look at 3D scatter plot. So, to make 3D scatter plot, we are still going to use our 3D, which we already have. And what this does is it's going gonna, it's gonna to help us plot in 3D our uh, X, Y, and Z. So, let's go to 3D scatter. And then you can choose X, Y, Z triplet as we've chosen and you can also choose many z so when you choose many z you have x y data assumed and then you can also choose x y and many z but we are going with triplet and because i've already pre-selected a portion because i have a huge list let's just go with finish and now we have our 3d plot let me drag this one here so we have our 3d plot so we have this plotted in 3d now to edit this is the same you can double click and it brings you to the graph properties and let's start with a graph so you can come to the graph and then you can rename the title you can change the legend so you have just this one okay there you go you have it here and change it as we've already done you can also change the grid so with a grid you can choose a plane so if you if you have let's say remember you have your x-axis and y so this is your xy plane or if you want your x and z so this is your xz plane so if you want different um effect on different planes so now we are editing the xy you're seeing let's say different thickness you can also change the color from gray to let's say uh, blue so you can have like different changes on different axes and once you're changing now we are changing the major you can also change the minor so you can change the x so we are changing along the x you can also change for x on this plane but the minor so you can let's say make it pink and then add a style as well and customize it so you can customize your planes nicely this is not nicely done so let's let's reduce this and you can change like the number of divisions once you get to axis so let's reduce the thickness a little bit come back to this yeah and this can be done nicely so once you're done with the grid you can also come to graph planes and add background colors so let's say you want to add red to this or you wanna just keep it as none so you can keep it as none or you can also choose different plane and add colors to that and then the frame lines itself so you can also have relative to viewer or you can also have relative to graph origin so you can have that and then you can show front lines you can show rear lines so however this will give you like a complete cube and for the front lines you can customize it differently than the back lines if you want and it makes it interesting so however that you need this can be done let's just try something let's make the so this is This is the oh because we change it relative to the origin so let's change it to the lines and then now we want to change the front lines to dashes and then the back line should be solid let's change the thickness a little bit and then we can also change the colors so let's make this let's say this and then make this let's say red 
so this can be customized and then rotation so in some softwares it is always difficult to rotate so with this you can just come in and change the angle or you can also slide it so you have your horizontal view so we can slide it and it, it gives us like different views so as you're sliding the value changes and if you want to also play along the vertical view you can also flip that as well flip it around till you get a desired view or you can also use perspective so you can also have like perspective as well so that is also something cool and you can enable light source over here so that's how you basically deal with the graph and the axis is pretty much the same as before you can now you have lines you can change the front line properties you can change the scale to give you different ranges and the ticks and thick labels and then you come to the plot itself so with a plot you can deal with the data you can change the end and then now you come into the data point itself so you can come in and then change this to let's say square and change the size change the fill color let's make it pink and then let's make this also pink and then you can change the thickness a little bit so that is customizable as we've already done and there are no lines but you can also come in and add lines to it and also go for different fill colors so you can just play along you can go for let's say color scheme or customize it nicely so this is pretty neat and interesting and you can always play along with that let's change this to none and yeah you can play with the line colors the and all that and you can also add drop lines so this is your x drop line this is going to be your y drop line so it just like kind of take the data point and drop it to your x y plane so brings it down and you can change like the colors for the drop line on that plane or you can choose the so this is your y z plane and then you have your last plane this way as well so you can also play along with that so that is basically how you make your 3d scatter plot this is pretty simple let's come in to let's close this one and then head to modify so this time we want to choose the whole x and then we choose the whole of y and let's choose the whole of our z and head to finish and you see how crowded it is but it looks so beautiful especially with the lines connecting it as well so that is basically how you make your 3D scatter.